Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Yak Fish Taco here. Today we're gonna be going to uh, Telemok Bay. I'm gonna be doing some uh, jetty fishing. So you saw me uh, pack a lot of stuff in the in the in the cabins of my truck, uh, Tacoma TRD off road. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, I've been waiting for my uh, truck bed uh, canopy from Lear for like the last eight weeks, and they told me six to eight weeks, but then this is like. And I like nine weeks now and I'm still waiting for it so uh, until then I put a lot of stuff in the, in the cabin so that they don't go flying around in the bed or in the rain so I'm, I'm really waiting for it and I'm really uh, hoping to, to make a video for you guys soon how I convert that uh, the camper top into some sort of date uh, camper uh, so I can't wait to see that happen Right now, I'm driving it to the coastal range. It's gonna be 120 miles one way. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of windy roads in the mountains. So I will let you guys know how this truck performed in that kind of condition. Uh, you know, handling things like that. Right now, about 10 miles into the trip, on freeway, I'm getting 20.5 average MPG. So it's not bad. I'm uh, cruising at 60 miles right now. So uh, it's gonna be good, yeah. And uh, morning coffee, always good for driving. Mm. That's pretty good. Just pick up some uh, McDonald's breakfast. So I used to have um, sausage biscuit. Every time I go out fishing or hunting, or mushroom hunting, or any kind of morning uh, trips, but today I saw this the uh, chicken biscuit, the chicken biscuit, and I'm trying it. and It's pretty good. It seems like it's uh, it's just as good as the sausage biscuit, and even a little better. So yeah, you know yeah, yeah I don't know right. So I'm making YouTube videos, talking to my phone, eating a sandwich, drinking coffee, and doing a uh, food reviews all while driving. I think that's a major traffic violation in the state of California. I heard like California, you're not supposed to even like touch your phone when you're driving. So, but here, this is uh, Pacific Northwest. We're not there yet. So hopefully not anytime soon. <laughs>
road. You know, it's just the way it is. It's a lot of play in the steering, so it's a bit better to be on top of it. You know, like every time you hit a bump or some sort of a you know, bumpy road, uh, your steering is gonna be trying to uh, walk away from you. But you just have to like, you know, watch out and then use both hands as always. Definitely not like the most precise steering, but you know, you kind of want that for uh, kind of off road driving. So, I'm taking this curve at 60 miles, it's not bad. Pathfinder with the CVT pulling a uh, 5,000 uh, pound trailer. Okay, we're here, Telmo Bay. Nice day, a little cloudy, a little drizzle, nothing bad. It's gonna have some showers today, but you know, that's fishing, right? Yeah, beautiful. Hopefully, it's gonna be good. So we got here 120 miles uh, on my Tacoma. I can average 22.1 mile MPG. It's not bad, huh? I think it, this is a, could be a good road trip car too, you know? It's like, it's pretty good gas mileage. You know, it's not that I drove like a grandma. You know, it's pretty much 60, 65 most of the way. Some of the places in the mountains, like 55 miles. There's a couple of trailers in front of me that go a little slower. Maybe that helped, but yeah. Okay, oh yeah, so we're here. Let's take a look at those waves and see how things look. Is this too rough? Not too rough. The tide's definitely coming in right now. It's coming in fast, look at that. It's running. Okay. Okay, so let's try here. Not a lot of people, only two cars. So, oh yeah, look at that tide. Yeah, that tide water. one's going back. See you later. Oh, 
my god. Whoa. Oh man. This thing is like the biggest eel I ever caught. Okay. Okay, so that was a great day. Had a lot of fun at the jetty, you know, fishing and uh, didn't get a lot of fish, but you know, at least I got that big, big eel. So make sure you guys check out the video. I'll put the link below. So I put a little bit under 300 miles on the truck today and uh, really enjoyed driving it through the mountains to the coast. Um, average 22.1 for the whole trip so that is like amazing but you know you have to remember 60 miles 65 that's kind of the speed that uh, I was going so really take it easy on the throttle drive so driving style really matters on uh, gas mileage uh, for the transmission it's never gone up uh, if past uh, 178 so it's been like between 174 to 178 so the transmission is keeping pretty cool but i'm not really you know having any like heavy load just me and then some uh fishing gears so uh talked about the transmission and an engine i think the more i drive this truck i think the more sort of it makes sense to me now like why toyota went with the 3.5 with the six speed automatic for this new generations you know going away from the four liters you know four liters is nice you know has a lot of like raw power and, and torque you know just you know get you up and going uh the 3.5 with the transmission the six speed transmission it's a little bit more finesse i think the more i drive it the more i i, I felt like i can manage it you know it's actually it's pretty fun managing you know where I want the transmission to do you know what RPM I want to be at I uh, it's pretty much on the freeway and on the mountain road ECT power mode definitely the way to go say at 60 miles with, without it the truck trying to you know be at 1500 RPM most of the time sometimes even going uphill until it felt like it has to shift uh, but the ECT mode you know in the mountain roads it will be at the kind of the sweet spot 1800 rpm most of the time going up hills so that that's where i really want it to be i think the 1800 rpm at 60 miles is where a, a pretty good balance of power band is and uh, the ect power mode really sort of reduce the, uh, the the amount of shifting down like by at least 30 percent and um, and I think also the 3.5 liter engine it sort of give you that choice of if you want to get good gas mileage you have the options to I think where at the 4.0 you probably will not be able to do that even though you, if you're like light on your feet you know so let me know like for those people that owns uh, the 4.0, uh, you know, second generation Tacoma, like, do you guys get, like, what's the best gas mileage you guys get out of your truck? Because I, I, I'm, I'm just kind of guessing, you know, I'm sure like some people that can really hyper mile and get good gas mileage out of any cars, but, but on average, like, what kind of gas mileage do you guys get, like, on a freeway sort of? Uh, know trip uh, on your second generation Tacoma with the four liter V6 so yeah um, yep overall it's a good day love driving it love driving a truck love fishing and uh, I will uh, think about the next thing to do when I have more projects and I will definitely you know let you know and uh, until then take care and I'll see you next time